Hey, what's up guys? Steven with another video for you. Today I have the Sharper Image Wi-Fi Bluetooth speaker with the Amazon voice command. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. Over the last few years, Amazon's really got aggressive with their Alexa voice command. In fact, I've seen a Garmin unit for your car and then I just seen a commercial the other day with a Motorola X that you can add a module into it to be able to have the Alexa voice command as well. So you can see they're really expanding their lineup. And today we have the Sharper Image and this particular one has the voice command additional to that. It has some other features where you can connect it to Wi-Fi and stream services such as Spotify, Pandora, and a lot of other ones. But let me show you what comes in the box with it. You get a quick start guide, a user guide, and a USB cable. It doesn't come with a power brick, but you can use your desktop computer or a laptop to charge it up. The speaker has a nice design to it. You have this charcoal grill cover and that hides the speakers. And then on the bottom here, you have a rubberized grip so it holds to the table, keeps it from falling. Another thing about this speaker is that it has a built-in battery. On the back of it, you're gonna see an auxiliary input cable so you can run a cell phone or tablet right into it directly. And you also have your power input with the micro USB cable. On top of the unit, you're gonna find your power button, your negative and positive volume controls, your mic mute button, and this button is a switch. You have the Wi-Fi mode and the Bluetooth mode. You have the Alexa activation button, and then here you have two far field microphones so I can hear you from a distance. Now to program the speaker, you need two applications. So first you want to download the Alexa application and make sure you have an Amazon account and everything set up ready to go. Then you want to go to your app store and download Edge by Sharper Image. It's available for Android and for iPhones. Once those are installed, you don't have to worry about the Amazon Alexa app right now, but go ahead and hit the Edge app. The first screen is that it's searching for Wi-Fi on the speaker, so what you want to do is go ahead and turn the speaker on. Simply hold down the power button. Power on, Wi-Fi mode. Now that it's in Wi-Fi mode, the phone should be able to find it. Now go ahead and hit the Wi-Fi setup wizard, and then you want to select your Wi-Fi. So I'm going to use 2.4, hit next. And here's the name of the speaker on your setup guide. Once you get that, press connect to speaker. And then you want to enter your password for your Wi-Fi. Next, you want to press your M button for three seconds. Connected. And now you can give it a name. You can press custom to create your own, or you can just go down this list and find one that's suitable for where you're going to place it. I'll choose media room and then hit the arrow for next. Now log into your Amazon account so you can connect to Alexa service. Hit sign in and then enter your credentials for Amazon. Next, choose your language. And then this will give you some examples of what Amazon can do with it and hit next. Also hit next again, and then it's set up. You can also add two of these together. And once you get that, you can program it different ways. For example, left channel, right channel, stereo. That's if you have two of them. Now hit the back button twice, and then you'll go back to your main menu. Now my music is your music that's already inside of your iPhone. With the plus here, you can add music services. So you can toggle which ones you don't want or don't have. Now I'm gonna show you how to connect to Bluetooth. And the reason you would still connect Bluetooth to it is so you can send different audio sources from your phone over to the speaker. For example, if you're watching one of the texty videos, you can have the audio coming out of the speaker instead of your phone. First thing you would do is take it out of the Wi-Fi mode and then press the M button. Bluetooth mode. Now it's in Bluetooth mode. Now you should get a pop-up on your phone. Go ahead and pair it. Bluetooth connected. Now let's see how good the speaker actually sounds. So that's what it sounds like. Now let me show you some of the Alexa commands that you can give it. 
Now I'm gonna mute my voice whenever I say the word Alexa so I don't trigger your unit. Knock knock. Who's there? Watch. Achoo! Gesundheit. Turn all lights mm. off. Okay. Turn all lights mm. on. Okay. Turn all lights blue. Okay. Turn all lights red. Okay. Turn all lights white. Okay. So as you can see, it has most of the functions of Alexa, except for a few things. So here's some options that you don't get. If you go into the Alexa app and then press on settings, I'm gonna click on the kitchen echo and see you have a whole list of different things you can do. The biggest thing I wanna point out is the drop-in is where you can talk to different devices and wake up words. So instead of calling your unit Alexa, you can give it another name. Under the sharper image device, you click on it. So you don't get all the different things. You don't get the drop-in and you, don't, you can't change the name of it. So it's always gonna be called Alexa. Overall, it's a pretty good speaker. And if you wanna learn more about that, I'll leave a link in the description below as well as the links to the applications. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.